welcome friends to another video in this video i will show you how to you know create a personal reminder app you can call it a personal uh, assistant like by using uh, unix only one line command you can uh, send a notification like every 15 minute every hour every day every week or every month monthly reminder or yearly reminder like anniversary or birthday monthly reminder like paying credit card or electric bill or that sort of thing weekly means uh, you know some log file uh, deletion or laundry pick up or that sort of thing that you can um, uh, create an uh, not an app is basically it's only one line we can uh, create uh, you know and that will send you a notification even in unix there is a command or utility called cron tap then so that will help you so if you have art that is like event scheduler or job scheduler it will schedule a job for you so that it is intensively used to you know clean off the old files or do some automations like instead of somebody doing manually at particular time if you just uh, order that uh, uh, like request or order anything at particular time it will do the job the cron will do the job okay so if you have root, root access then you can do you can vi it is the cron tab then once you open that then you can see the structure the definition of the log file like you can the first five fields are like the times and the next one is the username because you are a root user you can switch to any user and the last one is the command which which command you would like to execute the first one is the minutes like at what particular moment or zero minute or something like that next one is hour third one is the day of the month like uh, 1 2 3 to 31 and uh, the fourth one uh, is the month either you can give the index of the month like 1 or 12 1 to 12 or you can write jan pay you can also uh, add multiple such name jan comma march comma uh, december like that sort of thing the last one uh, in the field is like the day of the week the zero is for sunday seven is for saturday and uh, or you can also expand that name like sunday monday sun month tuesday wednesday you can also use multiple days in comma separated file right so <clears throat> okay this is like you uh, the root is using you need to you give the username which user is you, you are trying to run look let's suppose all you don't have any user access root user access then you can do cron tab hyphen e means it will create hyphen l means it will try to list what the cron file it has okay once you edit it note here you no need to give the username here because you are the user no need to give your user, user again so this is the command to execute the first three fields are like the same so what we will try to do okay this is date is current time is 23 39 okay 03 second so in between that time let's try to create um okay let's say let's try to create touch file here okay already there is a file let me remove those four files like my new file and one and i can try to um touch you know create those files by at particular 40 like um, already okay now right now is 39 point uh, 39 28 second within 28 second i need to write let's quickly change that minute to 40 so it will be like 23 hour 40 minutes say so it should touch this file touch tmp practice on directory my new file that means on the current directory i had i was creating okay it should create right now 15 second more let's watch it so that no need to type the ls hyphen ltr frequently now six more second it should create two more second there you go there you go okay there you go the file got created at that particular moment of time it's like uh, i am writing a command to you know what is called uh, touch a file you can uh, you know, run any script that sort of thing you can define so much of a task and write in a Paul script, bash script, Python script, any sort of uh, script, or you can start a process that you can do. Or the most interesting interesting part is that um, you can send notification to your personal email by writing only single line email notification. Let's suppose every 15 minute you want to what you want to do. Every 15 minutes, let's uh, define a task. Every 15, 15 minutes, what you want to do? There should not be any reminder. Every 15 minutes, if you were trying to remind something to your personal mobile email, I think that will. Um, it's like you are spamming something. So let's not do that. 
so we'll thought of uh, that uh, idea like hourly or daily we'll see okay if let's suppose you want to run something uh, every 15 minute so you can do how you can do it in the first step in 0 comma 15 comma 30 comma 44 then start start, start. i am not doing anything so by default start like every day every hour every minute not every minute every month a day of the week so ignore and it will try to check up the report this particular script any script that you can also configure or instead of doing comma 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 you can also do star hyphen 15 15 so let's suppose you are trying to do every two minutes so you should not write something like 0 comma 2 comma 4 till uh, 60 so that is like um, 30 times you need to write instead of doing that you can just do 0 it means a star slash 2 and then by default it will do the same thing like every two minute every one minute every 10 minute you can configure like that start slash 10. okay i think this is um, like any job that you can run okay let's come back to daily let's suppose if you went to daily send a reminder every morning like around eight o'clock to or uh, what eight o'clock or uh, let's suppose in the midnight uh, uh, around one o'clock five minutes uh, you want to run a cron job to clean up something that also you can do by 05 or 01 005 already there is a touch command that we have tried that is uh, touching it around uh, every night okay let's um, try to remind send a reminder that we are interested in daily reminder to water the plant every morning around eight o'clock eight o'clock in the morning so how to do that first thing we need to set the time like every morning eight o'clock eight o'clock sharp means zero minute is zero hour is eight our field is eight and then everything is start 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 means every day it has to send then what you want to send so you can just echo gardening time some message you need to try because it it want to send some um, notification reminder so echo gardening time then pipe that that will be like your message body body of your message and then pipe mail we'll be using this mail command hyphen s in the subject line reminder what are the plants and finally your personal email id like in one liner you can send notification every day and we'll see also you can also use that in the um, you, you can use um, like your phone if you have configured to see the email id you can uh, email messages you can see it the reminder no need to come back and log in here so okay, as you can see the reminder i'm getting like an uh, yearly uh, daily weekly monthly that kind of reminder i'm getting it by just writing one line code it's pretty interesting that you can do it by using some other google calendar or other such reminder but that is a separate app you need to download and install this is something like pure code only one line code that you are writing yourself no need to rely on any other third party reminders right so and that we also have learned something like there is a cron job that you can schedule the, some of the events okay there is something like i tried uh, copied uh, some junk files so whatever it was there okay let's try to configure weekly reminder like saturday or sunday or both days if you want to do only on either let's suppose uh, you you were planning to buy some vegetables uh, your wife has given your task like you need to buy the vegetables on week weekends and you keep on keep on forgetting saturday and you can also remind them again sunday like how you can do that like monday morning is on saturday or sunday morning nine o'clock so you can zero then nine hour is nine everything is day of the month i am not worried the month is also i'm not worried i was interested in the last one is the day of the week either you can give um, like uh, what is called uh, seven or zero like this uh, saturday and not seven i think that is six or zero or you can write uh, saturday and sunday and it's the same message you can copy something like grocery time and then use copy paste the mail and change the subject line reminder grocery time is you have forgotten to grocery so please do it so that will send you the notification to your personal id gmail id or any other email that you can configure that that you that you should able to see in your uh, mobile phone mobile phone 
okay and you can also run some uh, weekly cleanup jobs if you are an uh, it guy and uh, or a software guy then you want to do some of your log files that you're getting filled off frequently then you should to uh, take uh, you know remove some junk files like weekly you can uh, schedule a job that will also pretty much helpful so now let's go back to the monthly like we have covered every minute every hourly also you can configure that way daily weekly now let's try something like monthly reminder monthly reminder what could be your uh, use cases like monthly you can remind to pay electric bills credit card bills and internet bills if you forget the credit card you know paying the credit card bills or internet bills that is like huge penalty for you right you need to pay the interest so by just writing one line you can save a lot of money so it will get remind you no need to have any personal assistance like um, a PA. if you are a great person then you need to hire a personal assistance that also you need to spend a lot of money so here by writing one line you can just um, um, send the reminder so monthly means like um, hour you can configure on morning morning 10 hour if you are awake then by that time and one means the first day of the month see the day of the month like 1 to 31 you can configure if it is february then you need to select 28 like max 28 or 29 then depending upon which year and then after that is everything is star star because we don't bother about which month or which day of the week and the message the same email we just copy paste just change the uh, body or um, what is called subject line and um, this is pretty good and monthly like you can uh, remind for your credit card bill month what about the sort that you can you know what to do and let's go back to anniversary so anniversary is pretty important most of the um, uh, couples they forget uh, anniversary uh, or any uh, special events like birthday of your relatives or cousins or something like that so what you can do you can just uh, set up the reminders like if that is if you know uh, for birthday means you need a special events like which month and which day that would be interest and any you can choose any time like if you are interested in sharp uh, uh, midnight like in the midnight then you need to select zero zero otherwise we can select the hour or uh, um, what is called minute and we are interested only in the month in the day of the month day of the month and the month day of the month let's suppose um, what is called 28th feb let's uh, try that out like at midnight zero zero has selected minute hour has selected and right now I'm, I'm trying to select day of the month is 28th and month um, let's uh, select feb okay there you go what is that um, i'm trying to do 28th please type 28th day of the month is uh, 28th and month is 2 or you can write feb feb so that way also it will try to schedule a uh, anniversary reminder like annual reminder happy many many happy returns of the day that sort of thing okay i think uh, here i need i've forgotten one more uh, Star, I think it has to be four fields. Star one more art at the start. I'm not bothered about the week. Week uh, which week? Okay, and the same message you can copy. Or what you can do? This is like understanding the timing format. What particular customizing it? Like based upon. And there are a couple of keywords like you can use it directly if let's suppose if you want to use something like hourly you can use that something like at the rate hourly and you can run some script or or also you can use same uh, reminder like eco mail as pipe mail as the same utility that we have already tried it and you can also use daily if for daily if it is daily you can uh, use at the rate daily at the rate weekly you can run any script so I'm just writing some junk script because I don't want to show the, show the demo here because that might we need to wait for another day or week to make it uh, you know to see the uh, to see the demo okay so for weekly or monthly or yearly you can use it like that you can you pass your uh, I'm just keeping those commands and then you can understand like um, you need to add the 
which script that you would like to run that. You can also write this nice script HTML format inside the script so that it will send a nice email notification also with images. And let's suppose you can also use one more good feature like reboot. If the machine is getting rebooted, then you would like to start some services like critical services like uh, start my MySQL my server or my start my any database server, database server or web server. Or it should send pop up something like welcome message like hello welcome to my machine or like that. You can also write that script like during reboot it will, it should run that it means after the reboot it should run that. Okay, once you do that you can save it. Then you can also is if there is any mess uh, error message that is trying to uh, it won't say after saving it will show something error happen. So then you need to clear that I think. Yeah, that is, you can keep exploring based on your requirement, you need to configure the time. And that's it, I believe. Mm. Okay, okay, why it is taking that much of time for saving it? Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, once you type that, it will try to save it. Okay, okay, I think there are some external spaces that I need to remove it. Okay, there you go. You can try it and that will save a lot of time and a lot of money also. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for upcoming videos.